he's really favoring that leg bad. Now Danny Starr is laying out here and you can tell he is not feeling good at all. He's not feeling well. See that back leg on the other side? How he carries it and holds it. He's doing a lot of limping on it. Hey, 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 it's a brand new day on Gillen Farms, and I am Johnny. And me and Christine have just gotten out here to the cattle farm. It is my birthday. It is the 24th. And uh, for a couple of days, we've had a little bit of an issue with Danny Starr. Now, Danny Starr, if you remember, is our white-faced bull calf that is was born last July. It is now... Uh, March, and I want you to look at Danny Star. How Danny's walking? Okay, you see that? All right, Danny was in the pen there with Gordon. So Danny was in the pen with Gordon, and now Danny is out because I let him out. And what I think is those two got to horse playing overnight and Gordon somehow hurt Danny Starr so I'm not sure if he's got a, some kind of a fracture of this leg I noticed the hoof is really swollen right here you can see that the hoof is uh, the ankle anklet of the hoof is swollen and so he and he's He's really favoring that leg bad. I don't see anything actually stuck into the bottom of his foot. But he is walking on it a little bit. There is some swelling though. So he can bear weight with it, but not, not the best. So I'm gonna have him to walk again. Just see that? He is bearing weight. And the more he walks, the better he seems to walk. But I'm gonna contact the vet tomorrow and see if the vet needs to come out here, if the vet can give me something to help with this. Um, yeah, that foot. It, it almost looks like he broke that foot down about the ankle area and that could have happened any number of ways I mean they were in this in this pen right here and whenever they're in there in this smaller space like this and they get to horse playing he could have got his foot I mean he could have got his foot in between any of these bars he could have got it down in between these and turned his foot or you know a leg or anything and, and caused some kind of a a lower fracture or something like that but he's he's eating well and he's drinking well he just went to the pond and got a drink but you can tell that that foot is definitely some kind of a you know part of a contention and we do take very good care of our animals um, we're always trying to make sure that they're as healthy and happy as they can be we don't like him to live in distress. I like to see the fact that he is putting some weight on it. Because the more weight and the more PT he gets, which is walking, um, probably the better off he'll be. So anyway, um, tomorrow I'll come back and we will contact the vet and see what see what the vet's recommendation is where the vet thinks they need to come out and help us out with this I'm hoping I can get the vet to come on out um, 
I don't know that I can. They were off all last week because last week was spring break. So they went on vacation for a week. And usually whenever somebody's been on vacation for a week, the first few days are just a madhouse whenever they come back. Um, and that's not a good, you know, combination for our little bull calf, Danny Starr here. So anyway, we're going to try to get him all healed up. Um, Gordon's doing really good. Gordon, we have upped the intake on Gordon. Gordon is eating a five-gallon bucket full of feed now. So he's eating quite a lot of feed on his own, and Gordon will just walk right on up and say howdy. Hey, Gordon. You going to come up and say howdy? You're not going to come up and say howdy right now. But Gordon is really starting to pack it on. He's doing real well. And uh, still got his hay in there. Got, you know, like I said, he gets a five-gallon bucket of, of feed. And it just it's just a got a good nutritional plane going on right now. So anyway, man. And one of the other things that's got me concerned is it's kind of his, well, trying to run on it. Well, yeah. not the best, but all right. Well, tomorrow, we'll see where we're at tomorrow on this. You spilled a bunch of your food, didn't you? It is the next day, and I'm back out here with the cattle. Uh, in particular, this one, one uh, Danny Star in particular. Now, Danny Star is laying out here, and you can tell he is not feeling good at all. Um, he injured himself, or Gordon injured him in here, probably more along the line of Gordon injured him. But he is. He is right out here, and you can see he's not feeling well. See that back leg on the other side, how he carries it and holds it. He's doing a lot of limping on it. So we're going to try to, we're going to try to doctor him a little bit today. The veterinarian, I talked to the veterinarian a little bit earlier. And he seems to think, ah, oh, there he goes. Well, at least he's, uh, his uh, bodily functions are working there. But anyway, he told me to actually get him up and give him a shot. So I've got a shot, uh, actually a shot for three days. I've got to give him for pain for this leg right here. So, I mean, you can tell he is you know, in not feeling the best, and we're gonna try to make him feel as good as we can. So, so come on. Come on in there. There you go. All right. Now the plan is to get him down that chute. Go the chute. There you go. Go on in there. Go on in there. All righty. In there. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. There. Got him. Oh, you had him. He come out. Hang on. There you go. Let's try it again. And you gotta and you gotta make sure it closes all the way. Get your head through there. Oh, you done it now. We're we're messed up now. You can't back you through there. I'm gonna try to give him that shot. You're gonna get a shot anyway.
And then I'd just get my shot anyway. <laughs> get on in there. You're good. All right, you got your shot. You got your shot. All right, the calf didn't do exactly what I wanted to do. Maybe it will tomorrow. Try to get it in the head gate so we can put a ear tag in it. But anyway, doctored for today anyway. Howdy. Almost forgot to do this, but we got a little rain last night. And uh, I wanted to show you that. We got just right under a half inch of rain. You can see that right there. So, yeah, that's awesome. So, that ought to help some of the grass grow. Of course, it's going to be below freezing tonight, tomorrow night, and the next night. Um, cattle are all doing good over on this side. Got all the calves laying right down there with that one uh, white-faced cow. So everybody's doing good here. Tomorrow we will be back to doctor the bull calf, Danny Starr again. So till tomorrow. All right, it's the next day and I'm back out here to doctor this Dr. Danny Starr again. And uh, I noticed something, I noticed that he's He's actually up today. <laughs> He's actually standing in the corral, which uh, he wasn't yesterday. I mean, he that gate's open. They can go wherever they like out here. But he's ready for some food. But he's up. I mean, he's standing up. Now, that leg, he's still favoring it, I can see. But he is up. So... Let me get out here and check this out and see how he's walking. You walking okay? You walking good? Yeah, you're still limping. You're still limping. We got another shot for you today. All right, I'm gonna have to run him in there. To give me a shot. Go in there. That'd be fine. Go, go. There you go. Well, if I could get you right there, that'd be perfect. See if I can lock you up right there. If I can lock you up right there. All right, don't hurt yourself. <sighs> All right, gave him the rest of sh that shot. You can come out whenever you get ready. You can come right on through. Whenever you get ready. Whenever you get ready, come on through. There you go. Right on out. Just like he should be doing. All right, he's been doctored for the day. So I'm gonna check on these other cows now. let's check on these cows here so we got 20 here how are you doing 20 you doing good there is oreo this little cow right here is going to have a calf she's bred 22 here is going to have a calf and she is bred <laughs> bigly 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 bred she'll probably be 
I figure she might be next, but I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. And then uh, this is a surprise. That's the 21 cow. Here's Beth. How are you? How are you? And then we got, <laughs> you got pooped on. <laughs> you just laid right there and got pooped on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then we got all the little calves. We got a little pooped on calf. We got Miracle. Let's see here. That one is, let's see which one's what. I think Valentine is over there. And then we got two that aren't named. And then we got Miracle. I don't think this one's not. I think Jesse. No, we got Jesse over there. Okay. So we got uh, Valentine and Jesse. And then we these two are not named right here. So that are the two that Not For Nothing Homestead and Megan's Fearless Adventures are going to be naming for us. So those two aren't named. And then we have... This is the cow that was down, and she is up, 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 up now. And uh, she's doing well. So, these heifers are doing well. And they're new, new calves. And that little calf right there is just, <laughs> that one, that's Jesse. And Jesse just does not trust me at all. <laughs> None. Jesse is an untrusting calf. All right. Well, anyway, so these are all doing well. It's in the 30s today. Uh, colder than colder than it's been by quite a lot. But uh, you know, we're just going through that early spring. You know, it don't know what it wants to do type of situation. So, all right, it's the next day out here with uh, Danny Starr and Gordon, and uh, I wanted to show you something. Here's little Danny Starr, and Danny Starr, you know, has been, has not been the best, has not been feeling all that great with his leg, and uh, he appears to be doing a lot better. Appears to be doing a lot, lot better. His leg, his leg seems to be working just fine. He's not carrying it around anymore. I'm gonna get him out there where he can walk a little bit. He can run. So, Danny Starr, for all intents and purposes, is cured. Hey, Gordon. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're getting too big to roughhouse like that. So anyway, little Danny Star is doing well. He's all fixed up. His legs are all good now. So Dr. and Danny Star has, has really, really paid off, paid dividends. Because, you know, you just can't have lame cattle. So anyway, and this guy is really, really getting big and cantankerous. So let me feed him and... and uh, so they can eat and everything and and <laughs> just let's take care of the animals here. Pouring it to him. There you go. There's your feed. Danny Star's got his feed. Gordon's got his feed. They're all good. If you like this type of video, showing how we were able to fix, <laughs> that's a weird move, <laughs> that, uh, that shows how we fixed uh, Danny Star up. Uh, Danny Star was pretty, pretty stove up. If you like this type of video, showing that, showing the cattle and stuff like that, and uh, all that we do for them, our feeding and everything, then like, comment, subscribe. We'll continue to bring more content in the future as available. And as always, everybody, God bless. Look at that. <laughs> She's a little happy.
They're happy to be in here. <laughs>